This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined once again by Lauren Alexis. Lauren, it's really nice to see you again. How have you been? I have been good. How have you been since I last saw you? Tired. Really tired. <laughs> I'm in a debate, right? Let's zoom in the, the camera a bit. I've got a debate. Do I drop out of uni or stay in uni? I'm still on the edge of that. Now the Misfits are on a five-year deal with the zone. It's quite tempting, isn't it? It is. How long have you been in uni for? How long have you got left? It's first year. What are you studying? Broadcast journalism. So it's the same thing, isn't it? Are you struggling with... Oh, no, the work's easy. I just don't do it because I'm never there. Like, because we're in Dubai and Texas and Amsterdam oh, and Vegas. You're traveling. You're enjoying yeah. it too much. You know what? If you feel like you've got a future in this and you're spending more time doing, the, doing this, then I, I don't want to be a bad influence. <laughs> I'd say drop out. But, like, I didn't go to... Because of, you, I because, because of you, I dropped out. Because, because Lauren Alexis said to drop Lauren out. Lauren Alexis <laughs> told me to drop out of uni, so I did. That, that'd be good. <laughs> That's a good title. That's a good title of the video. But apart from my problems, what have you been up, what have you been up to? Normal work stuff, you know, just as you do, debating, getting in the ring, which is interesting. Really? But you know, who knows? Maybe I'm training, yeah. Never know. Who knows? Kingpin are coming back, and so and Misfits are carrying on. So influence boxing is very strong. Are you be doing a lot more punditry stuff coming up, you reckon? What was that? You be doing a lot more punditry stuff coming up. Yeah. Okay, announce one, interviewing. Yeah, I've got quite a lot coming up this year. I've got like. I think already confirmed like eight to ten events, which is insane, which I'm excited to see you there because I know you're going to be there, of course, especially if you drop out of uni. We, we spend more time together. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm definitely excited for stuff like that. And, I've got, you know, I've got a really a real passion for it. And I think just speaking to people and I always thought I'd be nervous in front of big crowds, but I'm actually not nervous. So I think I think I'm OK. At it. <laughs> How would you overcome those nerves? Do you imagine everyone's naked in the crowd or something? <laughs> So I actually get really bad anxiety, which no one would assume, but I get such bad anxiety to the point where like, I'm physically sick from it. But I think my brain... JJ, I'll see you again. Can I grab you two minutes? Hi, hello, you're right. JJ, I'll grab you one minute. Uh, I'll grab you all week. Hey, how you doing? Sorry, <laughs> That's good, sorry, I haven't sorry. seen you all week. Right. Yeah, yeah. Good one minute, JJ. Yeah, go you got to go. Go ahead. I guess the press conference is off then. Yes. <laughs> that means I can get her head home a little bit earlier. Um, just a few more things on the fight. Who do you think JJ would like to be in there next? Um, JJ vs Slim I'd like to see. I'd also like to see JJ vs Jake, of course. And tonight made me, you know, just gave me more confidence that JJ is going to beat Jake. So that's something I'm really, really looking forward to. Um, but yeah, there's a few fights I'd like to see JJ do. But vs Jake is one I would like to see this year. I think it needs to happen. you be backing JJ from the very beginning for that fight. I guess a lot of people now are maybe starting to turn and starting to pick KSI over Jake Paul. You're right, Deji. Hi, uh, you're right. I'm good, thank you. Hello, you're right. Deji, I'll come and see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone walking in. Oh, there's Yinka as well. Yeah, we've seen the whole, the whole fab. <laughs> the whole Chin Jay family walk through. Yeah, yeah. Except for the dogs. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, I've been back in JJ from the yeah. beginning, and I feel like. People have changed their minds, you know, some people have started siding for other people. But for me, I've seen how hard JJ's worked, like, in front of the cameras and behind the scenes. So it's really, and the, you know, his transformation, everything, and the amount of work he's put in. I don't know anyone who's more hardworking. So I think... Not even not, yourself? I'm hardworking, but then JJ's just a different level. Like, look at what he, you know, like, him individually has just created like a whole path for people in the UK and I feel like so many people in the UK wouldn't be influenced if it wasn't for JJ but um, I think not only do I know JJ's gonna win things I also see how hard he works and I know he deserves it more than anybody so yeah yeah I think that's the one thing I always hear about JJ that he is such a hard worker but um apart from the card apart from like JJ's fight who else are you impressed by on the card tonight you know what? The two girls, I thought Faith got stopped a little bit yeah. too early. I'm not sure what you thought of that. Um, but Elle has done really well. I'm very proud of Elle. And Elle versus Astrid is something I really want to see. Um, Anthony did very good. Slim, of course, did very good. But I think Tom. Tom is someone that I expected less from, if I'm honest. I, I feel mean saying that, but I did expect less from him. Just because it was his first fight. You know, it's not his. He hasn't been doing boxing for a very long time. But yeah, everyone did really well tonight. I think the press conference is going to happen. Wait, Joe, it's happening. Oh, it is, blimey. Oh, it looks like it is happening. Um, yes, Elbrook, you think that stoppage was a bit soon? 
Yeah, I do. And I've watched, re- I wasn't here to see it, but I did see it on social media and I've watched it back a few times. And I think Faith could have lasted longer. But I heard that Elle went to the dressing room with a broken nose. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently she got a broken nose during the fight, which I didn't see, but that's so crazy. I hope she has a very fast recovery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah broken nose is something, isn't something you want to want to have, but it is a start with 2023. Yeah, I <laughs> got the year right. Um, what, are your kind of, what are your kind of goals this year? What do you got coming up? Um, definitely indulge more in the boxing sport. You know, that's definitely... Uh, I've got kind of like a passion for it almost. Um, but just... I've got a lot of goals this year, but I'm one of those people where I don't want to talk about my goals because if I talk about my goals and then I don't reach them, I feel like I'll just be more disappointed. So I kind of keep it to myself, keep it within my team. Like my manager's great, the people I have surrounding me um, are all great. And yeah, I've, I've got good goals this year and I'm, I'm looking forward to the year. It's only the beginning. So I'll just fell over there <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I, get, I was talking to Cal Freezy about that. Yeah, it was Cal Freezy. Um, he was saying like, for his podcast, he doesn't want to say the guests' names before it's happened. Yeah. He doesn't want to jinx it. I guess it's the same for you. Yeah, exactly. And I think when you do social media and when you aim for things, I think you put so much work in behind the scenes of making that happen. And I think that's what people don't see. They think I feel like so many people think social media is really easy. But even for you, like you sitting here, I'm sure before you came tonight, you had a list of people you wanted to interview. And that's something you really have to think about. But people don't see that. I feel like people almost think that like for you it's just like oh you running up to someone asking to do it but I mean it's not as easy as that it never is yeah exactly yeah but you know social media is hard but I'm not saying it's like the hardest job in the world of course like I'm never going to say that and yeah you know what I mean (laughs) that's fair enough that's fair enough but Lauren I'll see you soon are you going to be in the I think they got one in February the end of February I miss this card are you going to be working that event or just Uh, there as a fan I will be there just, I'll just say that. <laughs> All up in the air for now. <laughs> but anyway, it's great seeing you. Awesome. Thanks so much, Lauren. Thank you. That's-